Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I'm filming it at the same time because I have a moment. <laughs> um, today, I want to do like a little haul and chatty video. Uh, first, yesterday, Saturday the 8th, I got to go meet Linda from Linda's Crochet and More. <laughs> and it was so fun. She's so sweet. And um, it was just so neat to meet her. She is the third podcaster that I've gotten to meet. First was Anna from Tales from the Craft Room. I can't remember now. It used to be Adventures with Anna. I met her. And then I met Connie from Connie's Crafty Corner. She lives fairly close to me now. And I met Linda <laughs> from Linda's Crochet More. I will link them three down below. Uh, anyways, I got to meet her and it was so much fun. And we went to Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and then we got some food and it was just a lot of fun to uh, meet her and in person now and get to talk a lot. <laughs> We hung out for a few hours and uh, chatted and shopped and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. Anyways, um, we went to Joanne's, like I said. So I did buy some things I want to share. She gave me a bag of stuff. I also gave her some yarns and stickers. And then my sister gave me some stuff. So I just wanted to come on here and share it with you all. <laughs> so first, when we went to Joanne's, I the, there was two types of yarns that I specifically wanted to buy. One was Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green. And the second one was... The Lion brand Sesame Street yarns. Um, I need uh, Oscar the Grouch. And I need Count Dracula for his yarn. I got gifted recently some more of those. And it had um, his head in it. You know, the little pom-pom head. <laughs> but it didn't have the yarn. And I need the... I, well, I don't need it. But I'd like to have those too. So I can make the bag of day blanket completely. But if I can't get a hold of them anywhere, I'm just going to make the blanket with what I have and then some solid squares mixed in there, you know. Um, they didn't have either of those. They didn't have spring green or the <laughs> lion brain yarns. Go figure. But, um, I did buy one ball yarn. That's a big one. <laughs> it's a Karen one pound. I bought it because it was similar to spring green. It is called grass green. And I need this because I have a bunch of green on hand, but it's all darker greens or like teal greens. And I need this to do like my finish my strawberry project. I haven't got to work on forever because I didn't have the right green and also I just have it on hand for other things like that so it is a number four worsted and there are 812 yards in this ball it's a big old ball and it is acrylic so that's the yarn that I bought <laughs> and then I did buy some fabric so I want to share with you the fabric uh, most of it was on sale it was all on sale but it's on different sales <laughs> let's see here Okay, these ones were remnants that I bought, and all the remnants were 75% off what they were marked as. So, I got two of the same one, and it's a Pokemon print. It's the first generation Pokemon. This one was like $1.32. I don't have my receipt, but it was after the clearance, it was $1.32. It is like half a yard, and this is a whole yard, and it was like $2. So, that's a pretty good deal. I could have dug through all those, but I didn't want to make Linda sit there and watch me <laughs> dig through them in it. So I just grabbed some that I seen. And then this one is a cute elephant print. I know a lot of people like elephants. And it was 75 cents. Because it's a flannel. So it was even cheaper than cotton. Uh, and it's like a yard for 75 cents. That's amazing. <laughs> so that was the clearance. And then um, these two prints were last chance so it's it's a type of clearance these were remnant clearance so that's anything a yard and under uh last chance is when they have bolts that are like discontinued or out of season they'll put them there and they'll slowly get cheaper and cheaper and then last chance is when they're about to get rid of them so this is like a halloween one which i thought was funny since it's almost a time of year you know but it's sharks <laughs> with witch hats on and trick-or-treat pumpkins and candy corns and i bought the rest of it it is um 2.3 yards and it was like six dollars because it was the clearance price put plus it was 70 percent off of that so it's like cheap <laughs> and then i found some of that uh beachy cats i just made bags for and um on the last chance so i grabbed two yards of it so i got two yards of the beachy cats so i'm gonna make more beachy cat bags <laughs> And then the, these last ones, these last four are Halloween prints that were 25% off. And it's getting that time of year. So I'm going to make some. These these won't be in the shop until probably August. I'll make some Halloween bags in August and September along with some regular bags. But I just had to buy these because usually if you don't buy them 
pretty early. <laughs> they sell out. And uh, places like that don't like get extra bolts, bolts, it seems. It's like once they're gone, they're gone. So anyways, I purchased these prints. This one I've had before, <laughs> but it's just so cute. Little fat cats and the pumpkins. I love it. So I got a yard of that. And then I got a yard of this one. I thought this one was so cute. It's like grumpy little witches <laughs> with uh, potion bottles and stuff. And it's got Chanel number five. And it's got love potion number nine. I just, I thought it was so cute. So I got a yard of that. And this vintage one, I couldn't leave it. I love the vintage prints. Just like a vintage Halloween print. I love it. So I got a yard of that. <laughs> and then I also got a yard of this one. This one glows in the dark, supposedly. I haven't tried it out yet, but I believe them. <laughs> and it's just skeletons. And they glow in the dark. I'll have to try that out later to see if it really does work good. But that's just the fabric and stuff that I got at Joanne's. <sighs> Next, this is the bag that Linda gave me. I haven't really looked in it yet. We, we've been busy. <laughs> After I got back from spending time with her, um... We, me and my family here ended up like getting out and running around and stuff too. So, oh, I also went to Hobby Lobby, my Hobby Lobby, and got some lover backs to make stitch markers with. But she gave me this cute watermelon bag, <laughs> and it's just got a bunch of yarns in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dump them out so I can put them back in it and not throw them on the floor. All right. Well, if I can. Get it to stand it up. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab. I don't think there's any with duplicates. Okay, this is like all clearance Hobby Lobby yarn. And this is Yarn B Smooth Move Microfiber. It is 270 yards and it's called Spall. I'll hold up here, it's a gray color. It has 270 yards and it is 100% micro, microfiber acrylic. Hmm. It's number three. Soft too. So that's that one. I think this is the same top. Oh no, it's different. These two, I think these are the same. These are called Yarn B Spinesse. <laughs> so what is this? Is? Spinesse in gray. <laughs> and it is a number three. It looks way thinner than a number three. Look at that. That looks like a number one. Uh 75% viscose and 25% polyester 350 yards each there are two of those i can probably hold that double and make something out of it because little yarn's kind of scary <laughs> okay let's see here this one is yarn b prima suprema and the sticker is right over the colorway hold on a minute i think it's glade nope marmalade <laughs> it's marmalade that makes more sense than marmalade because it's orange um 180 yards, number four, and it's Pima Cotton. Ooh. So I can make something cool with that. Uh, that's all that looks like that, right? Okay. And then there's this pretty sparkly one. It's called Yarn Bee Highlights Gold, 380 yards. It's got, oh, it's a fuzz. <laughs> it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like shimmery. Look how pretty. Uh, it's called Gold, I didn't say that. 380 yards, 79% acrylic, 20% polyamide and one percent me metallic <laughs> it's a number three worsted that is pretty i like that a lot and then yarn b nature's nook sage green it's very pretty it is number four worsted 54 percent acrylic 28 percent lyocell lyocell and 18 percent flax hmm. it's really pretty and then Yarn B Warm and Cozy Spa. Is that different? It's different than the other one. <laughs> uh, number four worsted, 78% acrylic, 13% nylon, and 9% polyester, 317 yards. This is pretty too. I like that a lot. Uh, and then the last ones are, I think, all I love this yarn, sport weight. Yeah. So this one is called Turquoise. It's very pretty. Uh, they are sport weight, so they're number three. 100% <laughs> acrylic, 230 yards. Turquoise. These two are called bright blue. Same stats. Pretty And then this last one is crisp air. It's like a gray, blue gray. Same stats as well. 
cute, cute, cute. So that is from Linda, but she also, there's some other things down below too, or in the bag. So let me get it all, okay. So first there's a pair of little scissors. You can never have too many of these. And then there is some face scrubbies, which also you can never have too many of these. I like having those. They're just abrasive enough to help get the skin off. And there's two little bags in here. This is a cute little sequin <laughs> uh, coin purse. That is cute. I love that. And this one is like a little notions pouch, a zipper thing. It's got a design on there. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> it's got two pockets. So that's awesome. And then a whole big old pack of pins. Ballpoint pins. And then 250 stickers, sticker book. I'm trying to flip there a little bit. Just some really cute stickers. Definitely will use those. And then last but not least, a notebook. And it says shine, positive vibes, and be kind. I love notebooks. You can never have too many notebooks. Most of this will probably go in my purse, my uh, diaper bag, purse bag thingy. Because <laughs> it's all handy stuff. Except maybe all these pens, just a couple. <laughs> But so that, all that was from Linda. So Linda, if you're watching this, thank you so much. <laughs> I already thanked you, but thank you again. And I love all this and I will definitely put it to good use. You know, I have to try to figure out where to put that yarn. <laughs> all right. The last thing I got is from my sister. First, she gave me this bag. It's a Disney princess bag. She got it at Walmart. She carried it for a little while and then I guess she just got a different one. So she gave this one to me. <laughs> so I love it. There's a Pokemon one at Walmart, but I can't bring myself to spend $24 on it, but it's this same shape and it's Pokemon and it's like a little removable notions pouch that looks like a Pokeball. I want it so bad, but I can't bring myself to spend money on it. All right, and so inside of here is some stuff for my sisters. Because I always got to take stuff on there. Okay, first, um, I got some of her new felt mouths that are the little like bat or cat mouths. So I got like all sizes, the bigger one medium ones <laughs> the littler ones and the tiniest ones <laughs> so i got those and then i got some more stickers because i gave linda some of my stickers because i wasn't able to meet my sister before i went to, to see linda so i had to replenish my stickers <laughs> and then um uh, she also found this at the dollar tree and she got it for me and it's a 500 piece puzzle it says it's got thicker pieces but it is green squares isn't that cool so i, I want to try to put this together and then like Mod Podge it so that it'll stay together and maybe frame it or something. I don't know how big it Some puzzles say how big they are. It's 20 inches by 12 inches. So it's a foot tall and almost two feet long. I could probably get a picture frame to put that in. But it's by Crazy Art, the brand. I just thought it was so cool that it was a granny square one. So I'm, I'm going to do that soon and show you guys. Um, if I can find more of these, it'd be cute for a giveaway. I'll have to look at my Dollar Tree and have her look at hers <laughs> again. <laughs> but, uh, so that's my haul and my random chat. Uh, I will hopefully have put in the pictures of me and Linda. We didn't take any video clips because it was super hot. If it had been cooler, it would have been nice to go like to a park and record videos and crochet. I, mean, I told her that. But maybe if we can meet up again like in the fall, it'd be nice to do that. But it's just too hot right now. And plus it ended up raining. We got rained on a little bit, <laughs> but we had so much fun and we got to shop and just chat and got some food and it was just a good experience. But my kids need me. I hear the baby keeps kind of getting upset because I'm not in there. So I got to get off here and go take care of my kids and maybe sit down and work on my sweater some more because I, I got like a urge to work on it now. <laughs> I'm going to try to finish it, I think, maybe before um, the August update because I, I want to start a Halloween sweater. <laughs> I had an idea to make one out of like grain squares, but uh, I don't know if I'll have the time to finish it, but I'd like to start it and see. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.